Emily, you have a topic that I love, pizza. <laughs> Who doesn't love pizza? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How did you find an opening in the already crowded pizza market to found Emily Loves Pizza? So I founded uh, Pizza with my uh, my partner, Matt, who is our head chef uh, at uh, Emily Restaurant in Clinton Hill in Brooklyn in 2014. And it wasn't so much as we were trying to do something new and different in the pizza world as much as we love pizza so much we just wanted to be a part of it. So you rented space mm -hmm. and put a sign out and started cooking. You did the cooking or he did the cooking? He did the cooking. It was very much, we, we knew we were looking and wanted to do this project and we were ambling around Clinton Hill one day and saw a place that was shuttered and for rent and we both looked and were like, that's the spot. Called the landlord, got in that day, sat at a local cafe, sort of like journaled what the amount would be in to get in there and what we thought, and then very quickly had the lease and everything went from there. So you were both having other jobs but thinking of opening, quote, a restaurant? Yep. When we were in school together uh, a long time ago, we ate pizza together a, a lot. It was our first meal, our first three meals, in fact. Um, our first proper date was pizza as well, like fancy pizza. <laughs> and, um, and so it was always a dream, but he was cooking in the food world here in New York City for many years before that. And I was a high school English teacher and administrator and yoga teacher, and I had some space in my life. So there was an opportunity to dive in together and invest in this project. So you had somebody who had some time to work on it, you, with mm -hmm. a flexible schedule, and somebody who maybe wanted out of a big corporate kitchen or something? Uh, he was working, uh, he was cooking pizza at uh, Pizza Moto and Sota Casa, and really just when he put his hands on the dough, I remember the day he came home from Sota Casa when he started there and, and really just looked at me and was like, this is, this is what I want to do with my life. And he's an incredibly talented uh, pizza maker. So it was a really natural transition for us to jump in and, and pursue what was a dream for us. Then how did it become a business with locations in City Field and Nashville? <laughs> I mean... So God we're the, knows. We're at the board here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you if you figure if you find out, let us know. Uh, from the boarded up place in Clinton Hill to City Field. Uh, I, the growth of the company, I don't think I've even processed what it means to be at the, the level and caliber that we are. We had a lot of momentum the first uh, year and a half at Emily Original in Clinton Hill and our burger that we put a burger on the menu that built a lot of traction with um, some really great press and a really strong following of neighborhood guests. Um, a huge social media following on Instagram. And as that grew, we had opportunities with investors and friends who wanted to help us grow the brand. So we opened our sister concept, Emmy Squared, in Williamsburg. And then from there, had a lot of uh, success. And so we took on some growth partners who are very strategic and wise business operators, which we are not. We're just the people who you know right. tried to put it in motion. And so they've helped us strategically turn it into a proper organization with the prospect of growth on the horizon. What is it that caused this increase in demand for you? So our fundamental premise when we were opening our restaurant was that we wanted the restaurant to feel like an extension of our home so that Matt was cooking in the kitchen, I was serving wine and entertaining guests, which we love to do. So the original restaurant is structured to feel like that. It's an open kitchen. If we could have 46 people to dinner, we would do it there. So mm -hmm. it was more, uh, he, he's an amazingly uh, talented chef who really loves working with high quality ingredients and really making his dishes shine. But the premise has always been more than just the food, the food and the hospitality, serving high quality fare and really warm service in a casual but professional environment so that there's there's heart and, and, and love that goes into it. You know, my name is on the window and I don't take that lightly. And when you're a founder of an organization that has that, you know, there's a different level of investment just by virtue of, of it being part of you. Other people have told me whose name is on the business, especially if it's retail, <laughs> uh -huh. that that really helps you and focuses you. You know, if it was Smith's Burgers, fine. But it's Emily's Pizza. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, 
And every day you see that, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. When it opened, honestly, there was this weird meta relationship where I had a hard time separating myself from it because I was Emily of Emily. I was doing forward-facing media things like this. I was walking around the dining room. And it was a big, it still is, but it was a much more deeply interwoven part of my identity that was very hard to separate and take a step back from and say, this is a business, I'm a person, and I can find that balance. But yeah. Challenging. <laughs> I've never heard that one. So you had to leave the business at work when you went home, I guess, a little bit, right? How'd you do that? Uh, not so successfully. You know, when you're <laughs> when your business partners yeah. with your spouse, it, oh. it never stops. Um, but wow. and that's a process of growth and learning for us too. But I think as we have taken on strategic partners and a corporate team, uh, it's really about the community of people invested in this. It's not just mine or Matt's anymore, but it's ours. And that value really rings true to me now. How did you get into City Field? Come on. How did uh, that happen? To be the, uh, the official the, pizza of the yeah, Mets, you the mean? Mets. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just, you know, serve the pizza and smile. <laughs> but you, how did they choose you? Or you you applied to them? Or how did that happen? Uh, we, we had some conversations. There was a connection and had some conversations. And the branding was right and the fit was right. And, you know, we're such a, a New York institution in many ways, as are the Mets and as is City Field. And who doesn't want to eat some uh, pizza or eat one of our burgers and watch a great team play. So where do you go from here now? What 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 might you do next? We are hoping to continue expanding um, into other key cities down the um, southeast here. So hoping to be in Philadelphia, D.C., right. and who knows where else we'll emerge in the next few years. Pizza and burgers. Right? Pizza, burgers, really classic American fare. Can't go wrong. And uh, do you think you're a born entrepreneur? No. No. <laughs> I'm a humanities creative type through and through. <laughs> so how do you do in business then? Uh, I've struggled, I think, because I, I don't have that business, like, uh, tough skin. I don't have a, a sharp edge. I tend to be, you know, really gentle personality-wise unless I really need to, you know, Get Which the makes fire the up. customers feel like they're dining at home or yeah. they want to come back. For me, it's, so been, it it's always been about the community for me. And I do think that's what separated us in the beginning because people saw there was, uh, there was a genuineness to what we were offering. Because when I walk around the dining room, I'm not on a stage trying to um, put on an act. I'm really trying to make a human-to-human -human connection. And that's really what food is at the end of the day, you know, engaging in a very human experience and, and sharing in community. So I think that's a, a value that I'm able to offer with a, a great team of business people now helping the company grow. How do you hire uh, weight people? Uh, we originally started with my sister was one of our wow. first employees. One of my best friends was one of our first employees. Mm -hmm. We've been very fortunate to have a community of people where we were able to reach and grab key trusted friends and family to help us. And through there, it was largely uh, word of mouth when you see uh, fortunately, when you're a successful restaurant, waiters like to come there because they'll they'll t they'll tend to do better, you know. <laughs> and uh, now we have a large company. So when our new restaurant Violet opened, we were actually able to see who are some people within the organization that want to grow, that want to challenge, that want to move into this new spot, open the new location, and help bolster it. So as we hire, we like to grow from within and find people who are interested in potentially relocating, potentially rising into management management and growing with us. What's Violet? Oh, Violet is our new concept. It's a sort of off-brand from Emmy Squared and Pizza Loves Emily, a Rhode Island pizza restaurant. So it's right down the street from our Emmy Squared in the East Village.